Oh, I mean, Thai Gulli, it could be one of the most famous pedestrian street and shopping market in China. And those luxury brands are all behind me, but I can't afford that. And guess what? Today in China, you can easily get an electric car in such place. So let's take a look. The first shop I'm entering in is Avata. And definitely this car looks incredible because I see many people, when they first see this car, they will definitely remember how it looks because today in China, many electric brands are releasing many models all the time. So to release a model which can bring deep memory for consumers is quite important. And we can see this car in person is now as big as many in many people's imagination because for the per, per, parameters this car is not that big it's only and uh, i can honestly say uh, for the mass produced car it has better quality than the show car in the auto show because i remember when i sit in the auto show's car it has many shortcomings of these vehicles and uh, we can see those are the buttons to control the city position. It's quite convenient. And here are the small holders here. You can push down stuff. And these are cup holders. And here are wireless charging port and two cup holders here. And another highlight of this is the Koi lovely vortex design elements through in the front. And the steering wheel is very big. It will leave enough room to get you the look at the front instrument LCD screen. And here are the um, rest box. I don't know. Oh, here. You can touch it to open it. It's quite cool. And I can honestly say the mass produced car seat support is much more supported. And here is the rear mirror is electrified in a mirror so but it's a little bit hard even though we are in the you know in the inside room i don't know whether it will be good when you drive the car outside or not and the whole window is all the top it doesn't have any covers so um, i i have I know that many owners from Avatar, they will buy some covers themselves when they finally get this car. But I think if they set an electric cover, it will be more common. But still, this car is now target for family and people who really care about energy cost. But still, it's uh, because when I show you the space of the trunk you will definitely understand why I am saying for that even though it's a SUV the rear chair can't fall down no matter the 4 seats version or 5 seats version so the trunk space is kind of limits I think but for real the mass produced car's quality is much more better and also, they improve the touching feel, feeling. And if I'm right, last month they released a one model version of Avatar 11 because they want to decrease some prices, but now influences the brand's quality. So they released a one model version, which is around 300,000 Chinese yuan at the beginning. So it's still very cool and you can see the lights of the lighters are shining all the time. It's very sensitive. You can recognize everything through the car. It could be one of the best in China now. The 5 seats version of Avatar 11. And you can see my headroom is fair enough but not that much. And if I straighten my legs I think my legs will be a little bit less supported but still this version will be much more practical and here it can be 
Oh, fall down. I don't really like the settings of this armrest because it will fall down immediately. You will somehow hurt hurt your arms and somehow influences the imagination of this car. But still, this color is you know you can see here are some chromes. It's not real chromes, I mean, some chromes decoration panel here behind the front chairs. Still cool enough to check this car and to see inside. And I, when I see it on the rear, I recognize another problem that if I see it too straight, I will feel a little bit tired. And uh, I'm very concerned about the Panoramic canopy, and later I will test driving. The I, I think the brakes need a little bit, a little bit time to stand that because uh, it's not that sensitive as other brands' braking system. And the steering wheel is very light, so you will feel this car is very easy to control. Okay, yeah. now I'm turning on the AC system because this car ha has two lighters on the side and they announced that they use one of the best assist driving system and here can control the speed right it's quite quite good sensitive it will control the steering wheel very carefully and but I can't test the NC features because they haven't published the function yet. It doesn't support the turn lights changing lens fun features yet because for the test driving car they didn't open the features yet. Oh. And uh, you can touch the screen to control the, the, the temperature and the air conditioners. And when you touch the fan you can control the warm of the thing. Um, for real, I think some materials of the steering wheel behind the steering wheel is a little bit cheap because I think those materials are plastic. But among these prices, it could be uh, reliable because they pay a lot of cost on the lighters. And uh, from the uh, so now we are on the normal speed and I can tell you my feelings of the suspension. This car doesn't have CCC and air suspension. So indeed, because this an, is an SUV, you will feel some vibrations through the ground. Because just from the hardware, you won't cover too much vibrations. But it's still, because Chang'an is a company who is very good at steering because I have test driving is low class brand China UniV. It's very good at steering and I can only say honestly to say the steering of this car is really good. You can feel every angle and direction in seconds. That's a little bit incredible because this car it's still a middle-sized SUV, it's not that small, but you still need to pay some attention on the adjustment of the steering. So, and I also really like the, the feeling of the steering wheel, it's quite light and you can easily learn how to control this wheel go. But still, I'm, I'm now used to for the braking system, I think it's a little bit too soft for me. But those are now the main shortcomings. But if you re if you want to tell every shortcomings of a vehicle, you will find a loss. But if you pay attention to the advantages, you will, you will find nothing. And after test driving of our I interest in the autos shop. And definitely the autos won very big selling amounts in China 
it sells more than 20,000 units per month. And the first car is this latest 5 6 SUV, the L7. I have taste driving this car before, it's quite incredible because it has CDT and air suspension as standard. And the, here is the L8, and that is the premium version L9. Three, three models of the auto divided their pro product lines very clearly. And uh, let me show you how big the uh, interior of the you know, interior space. Well, it's definitely a 5 meters long SUV have fair enough leg room and the whole design elements are all unified as different models and also it's because this is a higher configuration of the L7 so it has a foldable foldable television by coming isn't it you can control the screen and and it's quite funky, huh? You can control all the, all the functions. Driving pass is almost the same as the L8 and the L9. It's quite simple, but also very, very, very good material. And it's quite simple because here is the yeah. machine from air conditioners so it doesn't have any holders here you can pull your bag or your personal stuff and here are wire rice charging port and two cup holders and here is the screen and this is the HUD screen you tell you the speed in the uh, in GPS it's quite simple and very good experience to Enjoy the enjoy the, the movie. It's quite loud. Too many people here. Entrance in L8 because still the same. Yeah. It's not quite different because you can see L8 also has the same design elements. And but on the second row is different and also different from the third row. I won't and it's just for the side. L7 is almost the same as L8 and you can choose the color of the alloys and this L8 is a silver alloy and on that L7 it is black fully black alloy, it's quite cool and I think on the rear of the L7 it's more sporty if you are a small family it will be definitely more prominent also here is the L9, see, in person, and you can see the top, everything the top is uh, the lighters, which is support higher level assist driving, which the auto called NOA. Definitely L9 is much more bigger than L8. But just if you just stand in front of those two cars, you can now identify the differences very clearly. And I think the headlights, um, some audiences say that the auto use the same design elements as Xpen. I'm not sure. I think their headlights are more you know, fluid and it's like a throw head headlights. And on the side of L9, if you stand behind those two cars, you will definitely recognize that the L9 is much longer than the L8. But if you stand in front, you will feel those cars are almost the same. Don't think too much about the trunk space of Success SUV. It won't offer plenty of space of the trunk, but still. I think fair enough, maybe two to three suitcases for L9. And it's funny that L8 and L9's trunk space are quite 
are very close. So uh, it depends on your budget. Product manager. He really knows how to target the product. You can see how many consumers in the outer. Okay, now the third store entering is Jennifer's Korean brand. It's their latest electric model. It's they call it GV60. It's quite on the front. It's quite aggressive and very beautiful. And I really like the design elements of the headlight because yeah, it seems has doubles, but on the middle side it has a little bit green pin. And and just to see this car in person, it's very small. It's I think it's small around. 4,600 millimeters long, and you can check the law is unique. Really is. And I have seen some car vloggers in China, they said that in this car, they use a crystal hole to control the gear shift. And this car is much more beauty than in photos and the rear is a little bit rounded and it has a black tail wings on the rear and let me see the trunk space first um, well, here is the basic buttons okay wow that's quite big and I think it's like a competitor with Volkswagen ID4 because no matter the size or the trunk space is really close, but it's more, much more sporty and much more expensive than Volkswagen ID4. I don't know whether you, your, your taste, you like Korean brands. And take a look of the Kenno handle. It's it's quite unique. And uh, on the doors, you can feel there's uh, some lesser combined with traditional laser on the side door and you can see you use some silver as the decoration chromes on the handle here and here are plastic to the handles and the, the, the chair is very luxurious even though I haven't seen in the car yet but it's still you know fair enough and good enough the prices of this car is you know, quite expensive because even the size of this car is now not that big and the steering wheel is very unique it has an uh, HUD display I think because definitely a HUD projection the steering wheel is, it still keeps some traditional car elements physical button I like it I think it's uh, ACC Drive mode boost and and uh, other I I don't know what's voice control and many funny elements and here here all empty here are two uh, USB charging port and 12 volt charge port and also here are some physical buttons it's pretty cool because um, I think in today's Luxury vehicles, there are too many hidden menus, and that's the funny point. Funny crystal ball you use here to control the, the, the shift gear, it's a shift box. Oh, on the, the rear space is really narrow because uh, I think the, the driving place is oh, well, actually, it's good because I have a bag. On my back, so um, it's now totally lie down on the rear chair. Let me uh, put off my back. Okay, here is uh, the space. It has some room for you to put your feet inside, and also the the chair's lens is enough to support 
your your legs, but still, it depends on your height. If you are higher than, I mean, 180 cm centimeters, you will be a little bit narrow. And I think the the wheel base is not that big, but the white space is good. And I really like the touch feeling of here on the rest box on the rear. You won't fall down in automatic immediately. You, you will fall down slowly. So it's quite a good option. And uh, and you can find those elements through the car. It's a it's an expensive model, but it's plastic, no real chrome. And uh, you can hear the music through the speakers inside. It's quite attractive, and you feel very comfortable. And another point of it is a pan panoramic canopy, but I think it has a electric cover to cover it off. So that's quite uh, amazing. And it, and it is a funny, a very funky buttons here. It support a boss seat. <laughs> You know this car is very really small, but also support bossy and in the touch of the top, the material of the top is quite good. Uh, it's not lesser. I, I can't say what the material it is because I haven't checked the the data yet. But it's good, and it indeed has um, support electric cover. So if you feel hot, you can cover. Let me show you um, here. Ah, that's very really cool, huh? Because uh, I just test driving Avatar 11, the whole pa panoramic canopy. It's too hot, too much sunlight coming. Uh, and there is an air here, an air vent, the conditional vent on the back, and it's, it's, it faces the passengers straightly, so uh, you will. In offer enough enough cool enough oh and also it has a private cover <laughs> amazing it's a very small very funny because this car is definitely facing was back in id4 because the size is very small but all these details like here the and the vent and some physical buttons it's definitely a luxury model and very really unique what do you think leave a comment is the second model of Genesis I think it's also electrified models GV70 uh, the head of this car is much more aggressive and you can see they keep some physical chrome to like a decoration of the intake wheels and also downside here is the and take wind to support some downstate pressure and also the headlight is quite unique it's like GV60 much more but this car is definitely much definitely bigger it's more close like a middle size SUV but just see on the side they're close but maybe they are facing different market because it's this this brand is quite fresh also quite fresh in China and on the side of this car I think that car is sporty and good for females and this car is more like a funky boy and they still keep traditional handle here and with the chromes that's quite luxurious that's good and on the on the rear, oh, it's like a shooting brake, kind of, but it's an SUV. Oh, here's the buttons to leave up the trunk. Oh, the trunk space, it's, it's quite good, actually. And all the, definitely all the chairs can fold down. I won't show you because it's not, not necessary, just a daily show. And let me 
you see um, uh -huh, the design elements is not as young as GV60 I think this car is an older model because I'm for I'm not really familiar with this brand it's a Korean brand I think it's uh, some overall functions here you can turn off ESP here can turn off ESP and still boost many physical buttons so the logos and it's called as voice control and I think ACC controller distance controller speed instrument and also with HUD and here now they're in the mode to to can bring you into a atmosphere like um, we are now in a coffee coffee bar so you will will noise and we can change it to a rainy day okay you, you can see the rain drop sun and it's quite traditional it doesn't have a crystal ball uh -huh. it's a gear shift it's quite similar with the last the former model and here the menu can change the screen some function on the screen and the screen is smaller and also the armrest space uh, is still not that big in here I think it's a air conditioner machine inside so you can't put anything into and that's, that's not that practical in GV60 and uh, on the rear on the rear oh, it's, it's good on flat so we will have fair enough leg rooms but this this uh, net I don't like it but the materials you can see and you can touch are all soft and high end high class I can say you also have uh, private curtains on the side on the rear also it support both buttons to change the co-pilot seat to the front it here also it has uh, it has air vent but it doesn't have the air vent on both sides so um, it will somehow influence the result the, the temperature I mean and also is the ambient light on the side mm, I think because maybe it's a older model it's not that luxury than GV60 I definitely like that model better and here okay oh what happened and the fourth shop is hi-fi Actually, I've already made a show of Hi-Fi Z and I will release its English version later. I won't show too much. I'm afraid if I show too much in this video, you won't see my Hi-Fi Z video. <laughs> uh, so, but it's a very cool sedan. Very cool. Um, very good suspension. You can cover all the bumps on the road. And also gives you a very sensitive reaction. On the side, it's like a a little bit similar with Lamborghini but just see this car in person is much more longer than MPLB's imagination and beside Hi-Fi Z is Hi-Fi X and on the rear Hi-Fi Z it has a tail wing here and it's quite funky and all the LED, LED lights are combined coordinated as a unified and I really like the designs of this guy that they change the height of the intake vent like here because many electric vehicles now they choose hidden intake grills as they stand right so when you accelerate the speed too fast you will feel the vehicle will be a little bit unstable but they keep a little bit of vent here so the car it will afford 
dance their pressure for a vehicle. So it's must, and also it will let the car be more practical in driving. It's very, very cool. It's a very cool vehicle. <laughs> you have to say if you ever you in any supermarket in China, the all the Tesla. Here is the Model S latest version. It's also my first time to see this car in person. It's definitely longer than the Model S, Model 3. This car is quite dynamic on the side and it's very long. And they use a blank candle paint on the handle. And let me see inside. Okay, seconds. Okay, here. You know this car is a hundred thousand Chinese yuan, and uh, you can finally find some material like wood in here. But today in Chinese market, only thirty hundred thousand Chinese yuan you can buy a very luxury model. But still, steel wheel is quite funky. Uh, just half, and you will leave you. Um, better view. After test driving, uh, IML S7 steering wheel, they use the same design like that. It's quite cool and here, uh, watch, there's charging port and a holder and two a holder, plastic and cup holders here in the on rack box. It's not that deep. And uh, the seat is very comfortable and good sporty. I didn't Turn off my bag, but it's still good and very good. Lack space. And also, the tower is bad. And now, right, Tesla won't choose electric cover. You cover the sunlight, and also, it has electrify door on the side. You touch it, and you can go out. And here, so you're definitely off. Oh, okay. I don't know whether it can fall down because this car is very expensive, so I won't show that. Oh, it's quite cool. That's so. Oh, yes. We target this car as Chinese standard. It's too simple. Because you have seen many models before, how many they offer. But on the rear, it's, it's still cool enough because the rear is very dynamic. And also it's a hatchback rear trunk so you will offer more practical space over the trunk and here are two chairs you can fold down to leave for longer so you can pull your golf bags that's fair and electrify your wind that's cool as a framing model and fully black alloys it doesn't have over lighters, just common radars. I think on the hardware of this car is too common, right? You can see just on the street that how many people are walking on the street. Yeah. It's very common today in China. If you want to buy a car, just go to a shop market or that's the street. You go to the car showroom. And test driving or just see the car in person and many options and many car models you can leave your comments what's your favorite and why do you like that and also i i miss a brand that, that is excellent because um i don't want to see so old i will show later in my other videos